Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. On today's bulletin, water poisoning angers residents in Harare. A new mortuary is built in Chendambuya. A former Amakosi Academy student shines on the big stage. And we look at the decline in Zimbabwe's reading culture. Harare residents have been angered by the mix-up of water treatment chemicals at a plant last week. A highly toxic chemical called sodium cyanide was wrongly delivered into the water. Our reporter Jeffrey Moyo gives us the story. Some Zivarasekwa residents have reacted angrily to the recent mix-up in water treatment chemicals which almost led to the poisoning of the city's drinking water last week. A truck driver who was delivering the 19-ton sodium cyanide averted a disaster by raising alarm before offloading the poisonous chemical. Some residents now live in constant fear of water poisoning and they have lost trust in the water purification processes. The Arari residents trust express the shock at the chemical mix up saga. The mere effect that the chemicals were transferred from bag storage to Morton Jeffrey water treatment works. As Arari residents trust, we were shocked uh, to hear that uh, such an incident had occurred. I can't even imagine uh, the tragic consequences which were going to arise from that uh, mishap. So as Harare residents trust, we are really concerned. The HRT both said what happened at Morton Jaffrey water treatment plant might not be the first. There are other incidents that have occurred but have not been discovered. HRT is planning to press charges against the city of Harare for negligence. In this case, we are seriously considering taking legal action and social mobilization action against them for threatening the lives of residents. Psychologically, people become very unsure of the, 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 the quality of the water they drink. Meanwhile, police have arrested a manager with a local transport company over the delivery of the prisoner's chemical after government launched a seven-member team to investigate the matter. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo in Harare, Zimbabwe. After years without a morgue, the government has finally built a mortuary in Weya Hospital in Manikaland province. Jairo Saunyama gives us more. Villagers in Chendambuya have welcomed the construction of a new mortuary at Weya Hospital, which will significantly reduce the distance they travel to the nearest morgue in Rosapi. The mortuary, which was constructed by government with assistance from the local community, has a carrying capacity of nine bodies. Before the mortuary was constructed, relatives of the deceased would travel over 60 kilometers to the nearest mortuary at Rusape General Hospital. Where a hospital also faced a similar challenge in transporting bodies from the hospital to Rusabe. Transport. 
Even though 80% of the country's population resides in rural areas, health facilities in the areas remain poor. Most hospitals in rural areas operate under difficult circumstances and face shortages of doctors, nurses, essential drugs and facilities. Reporting for ATV, Inchi Ndamboya, Zimbabwe. <laughs> A young, talented Bulawayo playwright is set to take the film industry by storm. Nonlalo Dube has spent several plays that have been performed in theatres and on television across Zimbabwe. Selum Klanga reports. A former Amakosi Academy student is making waves in the film industry through the success of her plays. Nonshalo Dube penned a number of plays that have been performed in theatres and on national television. So far, so in the 13 episodes, we are in Vandu, Ngapalela, I fight direct, it was a stage play, and I've written a lot of stage plays for some organisations. However, we have written Mapalela my scripts, then Bambi was producer. What if we are giving a sitting plan and the story less than Ngela undirected? Dube acquired her skills at Amakosi Academy, where she specialized in film script writing. When, when she graduated in, a, in, in television, that's when I said, yeah, this one can do it. The script that she wrote, the first script that she wrote, and the first production that she produced in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a film class, that was quite impressive. I could tell that she, she, she can be a bright student. The 25-year-old is multi-talented, and she also acts and directs plays, although her passion lies in script writing. Ulama's strength, she is almost an all-around. We are Nelisa Ugukita, we are Tula, we are Eta, we are Loba. Dube spoke about the challenges in the film industry that Zimbabwe is facing. Gushota is funding. You find out one, or you just lay one, let's just one. Like Napa Leluya and Bam, it will take time for me again to enjoy the opportunity to find any project. Because Meleva Nige, Amanya writers are corner a chance. So now we Film director Stix Mshang said despite the challenges facing the industry, Nonshal remains one of the few successful women in film. I am Selum Shang. Reporting for ATV in Vulawa, Zimbabwe. Despite Zimbabwe boasting the highest literacy rates in Africa, the reading culture in the country is declining. Writers and publishers discussed the issue at the Zimbabwe International Book Fair, which opened in Harare. Robert Tafumane gives us the report. The seven-day Zimbabwe International Book Fair opened to the public in Harare on Thursday amid growing concerns about the declining reading culture in the country. We are dealing with the book in the digital era. We are also dealing with other aspects of the book in the digital era, such as, for example, writing in the digital era, uh, publishing in the digital era, uh, reading in the digital era, the fair, which is running under the theme African Literature in the Global and Digital Era, has attracted over 100 local and foreign exhibitors. An exhibitor from the United Kingdom said his company is thrilled by the prospects presented by the local market. Well, Zimbabwe has been for two years now one of the countries we've been working with, and we thought it was a good idea to come and promote. Mallory International as a company, as well as Best Books being our partner here in Zimbabwe. His sentiments were echoed by an exhibitor from India who is also hoping to tap into the local market. We are here to promote as well as to be co cooperative with the Zimbabwean people, what they are basically looking for, and what type of books they are looking for, how much cooperative they are. Meanwhile, some local booksellers 
urge publishers to concentrate on their core business and not to open bookshops as this pushes them out of business. The fair started on Tuesday with an Indaba where writers and publishers discussed wide-ranging topics including African literature, digitalization, identity and languages. Reporting for ATV, I'm Robert Abmane in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.